okay so the next two pairs that i'm going to go over is the gbp usd and the euro yen due to the fact that the video is already kind of getting pretty long and like i'm going to go over this these two pairs a little bit quicker also the reason being is because i really don't have a kind of day trading setup to provide for monday so i'll just kind of go over the technicals like i have been but i won't spend a lot of time on the smaller time frames i'll just kind of remain on the higher time frames and of course you can always catch me in the day trading room via free trial if you wanted to see it and you can visit that at tailoredtrader.com okay so gbp usd right we all kind of know what happened with the gbp usd which i'll get into on the daily but you know someone i'm sorry not someone you know the person that was supposed to win the majority did not win the majority you know the market the gbp kind of reacted off of that i'm drawing a blank on the name right now as i'm trying to you know go through this and respect everybody's time i also get all the information in my brain kind of out so anyways back to the technicals on the gbp usd on the weekly time frame you know this has kind of been in the range bound market for a while as well you know even after brexit you know all that good stuff so it's just kind of back and forth back and forth back and forth and uh long story short with the gbp is you know we had weekly levels uh from brexit back over here uh and it came back up to these uh you know this price and tested this weekly high uh which i always input anyways at uh 30 48 right and we even printed a bearish engulfing two weeks ago two weeks ago we had a bearish engulfing on the pound um, i even think i have a recording about that so it just took a, a, some time to kind of fade that a fade being the other way i found a place which you'll see on the daily chart um and, and it dropped out of it now that was a huge uh there was a huge drop i just had an alert come in i just wanted to read it uh we had a huge drop which i'm going to get to on the daily but two weeks ago we did have that bearish engulfing kind of signaling a little bit um um that you know the pound if we do kind of get a break we are going to break higher it just faded uh before it broke which i will show you on the daily chart now i don't have i don't have a trade to show you being in this this happened overnight and it happened like you know very surprisingly and it, and it happened like very quickly a couple minutes pound was down uh huge right as we all know um but i do i was I, in my day trading room i mean i was always saying you know there's no momentum going up this is a weekly bearish engulfing it did test a weekly zone up on the higher uh uh supply zone on the weekly right it's a nice little it's where brexit pricing happened once right uh and also i did put in i drew these circles based on the monthly time frame um of a potential head and shoulders and i did say that you know if it did drop you know that could be you know a lot of people will try to be selling short this head and shoulders pattern down here you know if you were short biased uh you know you could sell into these levels but it was just a matter of how long this was going to grind and fade higher and then as we all know bang it happened right uh, so you would have to have been selling short one of these days up in up in here against these zones to potentially catch that. But I did draw this these this circle before it even happened, and I did in my room have a line here. I even said, you know, if we do break higher, go higher, just like my style. Have you have, like you've been seeing for the past uh, two prior trades? And I did say, you know, if we do break that trend line, you know, we could go lower, and then you'll be ahead of retail traders with this head and shoulder pattern against a weekly engulfing right here. Like if I just take this circle right here, weekly is yellow. This whole price pattern right here, guys, is a weekly engulfment. So it did give you a potential signal uh, for for a potential drop. It just happened in five minutes as opposed to like maybe five days, right? But there is still some pressure. I, I hear a lot of people trying to like potentially buying into the GBP USD. I guess that's also a scenario. Um, but again, I'm not going to be calling GBP long or short like, you know, further out especially this pair it's just really not a trending pair in my eye it's more of a range bound pair um um uh, like the euro usd of course there's hundreds of pips to be made within here um but again i don't have a setup as far as swing right the swing had already kind of played out uh with that major move down now it's just a matter of how are we going to handle the volatility intraday 
kind of playing intraday levels up and down in this market but of course it's kind of quite obvious with my lines being here where my targets are gonna be in the gbp usd based on the higher time frames but again you guys wouldn't even believe me if i told you that i drew this right here on youtube but i do have people in my day trading room that saw me draw this now i will pull up the gbp usd and kind of the price action that i caught after that as you can see i don't have anything here to show you because it would show here but i'm not i didn't take a loss on that i'm sure a lot of people got crushed in there but again i didn't take that short so that's why i'm not sitting here on the internet screaming about that setup if i did take that short it'd be a different story right um but it was there again against that weekly bearish engulfing no momentum taking it up to a nice level of supply it was just a matter of you know which day are you catching that before it happened because you weren't going to be able to catch that um real time uh but after that happened where the time that i came to kind of day trade this i just sold short the first time i could uh, and it was late Friday, and I just took a little bit of profit in the in the range and stopped up break even right there. So I took like from 40, 40 sixes and down to 21. So I took a little day trade short, about uh, you know 20 pips or so. Uh, okay, so that's the pound. Let me go to the euro yen uh, quite quickly. Again, I don't have a day trading setup for y'all on Monday, uh, but I will be trading it on Monday. I'll just catch the the price action. I'll catch the tape um, um, real time. Uh, real quick, again, same format. I'm just going to go to the weekly time frame in the euro yen. I'm going to be fairly quick on this pair. Uh, it's just kind of stuck in a range up at uh, kind of, uh, these are not even levels here. Uh, there are monthly and weekly high levels up here, of course, just like everything. And basically, we're in a, you know, kind of like a four week, five week range. Um, the low being here for the weekly, uh, a couple weekly highs, monthly high up here from last month, and uh, this is what you see. It's not much to see here on the weekly, so I'm just going to drop right into the daily with you guys. And you know, after a big move, we're just finding a consolidation kind of price range on a, on kind of the higher price realm of a high to low scenario. So we're kind of basing on the upper third of a range right we have the weekly weekly low being here weekly highs up here now we do have a little bit of a of a uh uh downward sloping trend line if, now if this uh if this thing does want to find this a weekly high right here so there's kind of like a confluence area here if we do if these bricks do hold out and there's a basing on the small time frames and we do get a breakout higher you know i'm not going to really expect much uh, for the euro yen early out in the week, just be careful of ranging for day traders out there. Be careful of the range. That's what I'm going to be doing. If these things does, if these levels and these wicks do kind of just hold out, we do get upward move. You're going to have to just go long in this market um, um, uh, to kind of play that price action uh, at least up until these levels. And just always know that you know this is a weekly range, so and a weekly range could kind of trump a daily downward sloping um, trend line. So. I'd be careful just up here. Um, this would be more of a profit-taking area as opposed to maybe a sell short area. If we do get a break back down below this weekly low, you know, I'd be selling short, of course, intraday. And of course, my target is a monthly low, a monthly orange line low at 123.31, along with a uh, demand and support level kind of clean right there. Um, so that's kind of like the euro yen. Just be careful trading this pair because. It's kind of uh, basing, ranging intraday. If we could have a pop, but just be careful with zones up here. We could have a pop lower, but again, target area is going to be quite tight uh, as this pair is kind of ranging up and down. So we have a monthly low here. Of course, we have a monthly high here. And uh, you're just going to have to go to work on the daily and smaller time frames and just be real careful. I'd say profit target is going to be fairly tight in this market. Now, if you want to swing trade it, you know, you could be treating this as a kind of another bounce low start to accumulate and then take it higher up here right as a swing trader or if you're short biased you'll be looking at maybe potentially selling short uh, a rally to take it down lower uh, that's something that uh, you you would have to kind of do based on your plan based on the technicals uh, that I'm kind of viewing here uh, just with the monthly and weekly zoning and the price action that's available to us so that's that again Eric here with taylortrader.com and I am offering a free trial uh, via my website. If you go there, the details are on the website. Catch you in the trading room. Trade safe.